Never miss a story. Get the headlines as they happen. And watch BBC News live wherever you are. Download the BBC News app. Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Sally Nugent and Nina Warhurst. Our headlines today. Nominations for the Conservative leadership are officially open. MPs have until the end of today to secure the backing of at least 20 of their colleagues. The Olympic gold medalist Samo Farah reveals he was trafficked to the UK as a child and forced to work as a servant. From how you travel to the airport to insurance and your first serving of tapas, the cost of holiday extras has risen dramatically. The first picture from the most powerful telescope ever launched into space has revealed a glimpse almost to the edge of the universe. Good morning in sports, shattering records as they dismantle Norway. An 8-0 victory has the Lionesses roaring into the quarterfinals of the Euros. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line. Shot flew up. And his personality lit up the 70s and 80s with exceptional play and the occasional angry outburst. Tennis legend John McEnroe reflects on his life and career. And it may be cooler and cloudier for some of you today, but the heat wave is ongoing in the southeast and temperatures will rise further this weekend. The Met Office have issued an extreme heat warning. I'll have the details on all of that here on Breakfast. Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 12th of July. Our main story for you this morning, Conservative MPs hoping to become the next party leader and prime minister have until this evening to muster enough support to officially join the contest. Yeah, they need at least 20 backers under rules set out by the 1922 committee of Tory backbenchers. 11 candidates have so far put themselves forward.